The Lost Tribe, also known as the Los Angeles Hunting Party, were a group of predators who arrived in the city of Los Angeles sometime in 1997. They operated out of their spaceship which was hidden underground inside of a storm train where it would remain out of sight of the local inhabitants. The reason for their visit to Earth was for their newest member to undertake an initiation to prove himself to the rest of his tribe by stalking and killing the deadliest members of the warring Colombian and Jamaican gangs as well as officers of the city's police department. This predator killed many members of these factions and took their skulls as trophies for the clan to be displayed on their large trophy wall but their actions caught the attention of both Detective Mike Harrigan, a lieutenant at the police department, as well as a CIA task force named the Otherworldly Life Forms Program, or OWLF for short. They were a group of agents with a top secret mission, investigating alien incursions on Earth. Their ultimate aim was to capture a live Yautja specimen for study and to gain access to their advanced weapons and technology. The Predator killed the OWLF team, but Detective Harrigan managed to injure it and followed it back to the ship where they dueled in a final fight to the death, with Harrigan emerging victorious. Then the other members of the Lost Tribe appeared and carried their deceased brother away. Their leader then handed him a flintlock pistol as a reward for managing to defeat one of their warriors before they took off and left the Earth. The members of the Lost Tribe consist of Elder Predator, also known as Greyback or Golden Angel. The leader of the Lost Tribe, he is an ancient Yelja who is hundreds of years old. He has bluish grey dreadlocks and armour similar to the Jungle Hunter. He has wrist blades, a cutlass like sword and a plasma caster with a built in targeting system, not requiring a biomass to operate it. This Yautja previously visited Earth in the year 1718, hunting human pirates off the Guinea coast in Africa. Captain Raphael Adelini was forced to deal with his mutinous crew following a dispute over a haul of stolen treasure. Whilst defending himself from his men, the predator emerged and started attacking the humans. Outnumbered, the Yautja and the pirate captain joined forces and together they defeated the men who turned on their own captain. With the crew defeated, the Predator prepared to face off with Adelini, but a survivor then shot the man in the back, mortally wounding him. After Greyback dispatched the last mutineer with his plasma caster, Adelini gifted the Yautja with his own personal flintlock pistol before dying. Greyback then buried him out of respect and left the earth. Almost 300 years later, Greyback, now an elder of a hunting tribe, revisited Earth once again and gifted Lieutenant Mike Harrigan with the same pistol for defeating one of his tribe members in one-on-one -on -one combat. The inscription on the pistol read, Raphael Adelini, 1715. The Shaman Predator, also known as Hippie due to his long dreadlocks, which are noticeably longer than those of the other lost predators. Shaman has more of a pale white skin tone with black splotches and very long hair with some of the dreads held together at the back with a clip. The Shaman Predator possesses a unique weapon, a long staff with two blades at the top, the kind used in a predator's wrist gauntlet. It also has some small trophies suspended from it. Apart from this, he has minimal armour and not much in the way of other equipment. The Boar Predator, a Yautja who joined the Lost Tribe at a young age, he is lightly armoured with his armour being a silver good metal colour and has a silver and gold biomask with a mouthpiece slightly resembling a boar's snout, hence his name. He has no wrist blades, but two left-handed gauntlets instead. Across his torso, instead of any chest armour, he has a piece of leather with trophy bones attached to it and is the sibling of fellow clan member Stalker. He is seen to have only a smart disc in his possession and is seen alongside the scout predator taking City Hunter's body away. The Guardian Predator, aka the Gort Predator, the only member of the Lost Tribe to have served as a Temple Guard previously, where he specialised in heavy weaponry. Guardian has a similar appearance to the City Hunter, being a pale cream beige colour with mottled reddish-brown stripes. 
He has almost identical armor to the City Hunter as well, but closer in color to the more standard silver gunmetal than the copper color of the City Hunter's armor. He is also well equipped with a combi stick, wrist blades, smart disc, and plasma caster. He has a differently designed biomask, which was actually an earlier version that was supposed to be used in the first movie, but got redesigned. It is also similar in appearance to those worn by Celtic and Scarface. Snake Predator, also known as Shadow, a predator with red and beige coloured skin and an elaborate pattern running down the top of his head, which is where the name Snake comes from. He is lightly armoured, with what little armour he has being a reddish copper colour, and is seen with no mask. He has fur pelts around his waist and over one shoulder, pretty unusual for a predator, as well as shorter dreadlocks as well. For weaponry, he has a combi stick and smart disc, and he also has a sibling named Viper who belongs to a different clan. Stalker, aka Baby Boar or Brother Boar, is the younger sibling of the Boar Predator and the more reserved of the two, both taken into the Lost Tribe at a young age after a rival group wiped out their original clan, with only him and his brother being the only survivors. While Boar was more of a hands-on melee fighter, Stalker instead preferred to adopt a stealthier approach. He has a similar biomask design to Boar in a bronze colour and has pale orange skin, and wore a necklace with a miniature version of his biomask on it. His weaponry consisted of a combi stick and smart disc. The Lost Predator, also known as Borg, a Yowcher with a green skin tone. He has a scimitar-like sword as a weapon which sits in a sheath on his hip. His nickname Borg comes from his armour which is said to resemble the aliens of the same name from Star Trek. His armour is bluish grey in colour and has an elaborate, almost cybernetic design to it and covers his chest. He also has a matching set of wrist gauntlets. In an alternate version of the NECA toy of him, he has more armour and weaponry, as well as a unique biomask, and his bio reads that later on, he unwittingly joined a clan of bad blood and stole an advanced ship and technology. Warrior, aka Ram, a predator with similar weapons and armour to City Hunter and Guardian, in a silver grey colour. He has wrist blades, a smart disc, plasma caster and combi stick, and is seen wearing a biomask. Warrior has an uncommon skin colour being a light shade of blue which is unusual for a Yowcher, suggesting he could possibly be some kind of rare subspecies or colour morph. In one variant of his NECA figure, it is stated he is second in command after the Elder and holds the rank of Elite, and that he is an exceptionally skilled hand-to-hand -hand fighter. The Scout Predator, aka the Lost Hunter, a Yautja who specialises in long-range weaponry and hunting techniques. Armed with a plasma caster, smart disc and wrist blades, Scout resembles a blend of both the Jungle Hunter and City Hunter Predators, with the same mask as Jungle Hunter and the armour and weapons of City Hunter. He also shares a similar coloration to Jungle Hunter, with the markings and tiger stripes of City Hunter. He is seen in the ship removing City Hunter's body along with the Boar Predator. It is thought that the mask he wears is the same prop as the Predator from the first movie. According to the bio of the NECA toy, Scout is a member of a subspecies of Yautja originating from a specific island on Yautja Prime, where they are bred for different types of hunts. In the case of the Scout Predator, he acts as a point man, venturing ahead and assessing the environment. This version of him carries a sniper rifle-like weapon and has a different facial structure to the other Yautja of the Lost Tribe. City Hunter, aka Ghost, the youngest member of the Lost Hunters, he was on an initiation to prove himself worthy of joining the ranks of the Lost Tribe. He had a copper-coloured mask and armour and a beige-brown skin tone. He was heavily armoured and well equipped for his rite of passage, with wrist blades, a plasma caster, smart disc, combi stick, energy flechette, spear gun and net gun. The city hunter had hunted down and killed members of the Jamaican and Colombian street gangs and officers of the LAPD, but met his match when he targeted police detective Harrigan, who injured the predator with a shotgun and then killed him with his own smart disc.
So what do you all think of the Lost Predators from Predator 2? I think some of them have some really cool designs and it was interesting to see a group of Predators for the first time. I was thinking about possibly doing a future video ranking all the Lost Predators in order from my favourite to least favourite and reasons why. I think that could make for a fun video, let me know if you'd like to see that. I did mention the neck figures a few times in the video as well, and I actually own the figures of all the Lost Predators. Right now, they are releasing newer updated versions, versions of them, but the ones I have are the older versions that came out around 2012. There's another company called Higher Toys too, who are making smaller Predator figures as well, which is pretty neat. In the movie, a lot of the Lost Predators were played by members of the Los Angeles Lakers basketball team because they needed like an extra 8 people who were tall enough. And the reason they are called the Lost Tribe is because after they finished the movie, all the extra Predator suits they made went missing and no one knows what happened to them. It was also one of the most expensive scenes in the whole film too, as they had to make all the extra suits and then they were only in the film for about a minute. And they actually repurposed the Predator costume from the first movie as well. They just made some alterations to it and made it into the Elder. And they used the mask for the Scout Predator as well. And a lot of the other Predator's armour pieces were spares and extra props from the City Hunter suit. I really enjoyed Predator 2 and thought it was a lot better than I remembered, so if you weren't too keen on it, I definitely recommend giving it another watch. I found it to be really enjoyable after giving it another chance. Thanks for checking out my video and I really do hope that you enjoyed it. If so, make sure to click on the like button and subscribe if you feel I've earned it and if you're interested in my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.